guys, this is Lowell and Mickey. We're going to talk about um, the postpartum uh, situation, the six weeks, but we have a guest with us. This is Janelle. So Janelle, tell us about yourself a little bit. All right. So I became a mom over 20 years ago, and that was C-section. And since then, I've become a trainer because my C-section led me to a back injury. Uh, I've since now incurred nine core wounds, and I now consider myself a core specialist because I don't want anyone else to get injured or feel the way I felt post C-section or postpartum. So today we will just discover the things that you should or shouldn't be doing in those six weeks postpartum, and we'll just keep you happy and healthy. Perfect. So also, in we're going to be kind of breaking this up into a little bit of a mini series. So with Janelle here, because of the expertise, the background that she has had, and also being a mom, because it's always nice to have the opinions and advice from somebody who's been through it, gone through it. And then she's also been through that much more than just the C-section. There's been a lot more there too. So it's always nice to have different opinions from people who have gone through it, but also breaking it up into different series. So this isn't going to be 30 minutes. We're going to go into a few separate videos throughout this as well, just to break it down for you. So if there's one area that you want to find a little bit more for yourself, then click on those videos. But for today, we're going to be talking about that first six weeks postpartum. So let's get started. All right, so just a little visually here to really explain what the core actually is. It's all of the muscular structure from the armpits to the knees. So we have these bands crossing through the center of her true core where you think of it, but this is where the attachments and insertions begin. The yellow band is what we call the TVA, the transverse abdominal. It's really important. It gets a lot of abuse during pregnancy. It's one of the ones that really can help during labor and delivery for pushing baby out. But when people think of the core, Typically, it's very superficial in their mind, but you need to understand we're going from knee to shoulder, crossing in the middle with a nice big band in the center, and that's where core really is. So now knowing what we do know about how the abdomen undergoes so much pressure, growing baby and then delivering baby, what's safe to do in those few days and weeks afterwards? We want to go back to primal movements. When you were yourself a baby, you did a lot of rolling, you did a lot of knee crunching. You're going to have this little baby to carry around and bend over and change diapers. So we need to get back to movement patterns that feel safe. We're going to put this between the knees. We're also just going to squeeze it. So again, we're getting those core muscles coming out of her knees now. Nice good squeeze. You're going to move your feet down. And I just want you to think about that yellow band and tightening it. It's not pushing belly button into the spine. It's that cinch sack, bringing all those bands in together. Nice good hold with the squeeze and an exhale. And then inhale and relaxing. Again, exhale, squeeze, squeeze, bring it all together. This is very gentle, this is very kind. Post C-section, post vaginal delivery, no problem. We'll do a couple more. You can see how her body responds, her pelvis, her rib cage stays down, knees are squeezing. We'll do one more. This wasn't a thing 20 years ago. ACL surgeries have changed, Tommy John surgeries have changed, but no one's changed how we recover from delivery. And working with women for the last 15, 20 years, there's a neglect. And we're gonna to start to educate you and make you feel better and recover better. And life is just gonna be different for women who know this. All right, we're gonna make it a little bigger. So that ball was the starting point, it's nice and small. We're gonna go into a ring. Same idea, but she has so much more activation here because it's wider. Just a gentle squeeze, we're not trying to break it. Again, activating here, a nice big exhale. And then inhale, relax. Exhale, squeeze. All right, from here, now we can drive knees into ribs. So you're gonna lift that up. Good. Slowly down with the inhale. Exhale, pull again. What we're gonna watch for is doming. Doming is a terrible thing. It is showing us the abs are not working right. So if you get a mound popping up here, you're not ready for this step. You need to go back to step one. If you can control this, keep it flat, no bubble, you're good to go. Good, one more. Beautiful. All right, so now because we know the abs are also part of the armpits, you're gonna hold it over your head. With your pinkies, nice and slow, you're gonna drive that together with exhale and focusing here again. We want the ribs to kind of tuck in a little bit and then inhale, relax. Exhale, pull it all together. So think of it as a cinch sack. Everything's coming together with the exhale, relaxing with inhale. Good, focusing on the pinkies really helps get Serratus, which is part of core. If you try to punch it together, it's a lot of shoulder work. One more. 
Nice. How did this feel? It feels great. Yeah, it feels really good. <laughs> All right, good. All right, so now we have Laurent slipped into a different position. This is a very crawling position, very normal for the first few moments of life that you had. And what I'm gonna have her do is exhale, lift her knees off the ground, squeeze this ball between her knees and try to dive your knees into your elbows. Hold that with that exhale. Inhale, come down from here, relax completely. Good, so now we're working on trying to get activation through pelvis. Exhale, bring it up, pull knees in, really helping the backside of the core muscles, the TVA, everything comes back and around here again, but still really good focus on that front cinch sac, cinch sac. everything's coming together. We got two more, she's elbows braced, again, encouraging more of that long abdominal muscle coming from her armpit. Good, rest. This is less likely to dome because now you've got gravity on your side. When you lay on your back, you'll notice you roll out of bed, things like that. If you have a dome, you really have to work on managing the pressure in the core. This is a very dome safe position. So if you tendency to dome, you can come here instead of doing that second one that we just did. How did this feel? Great, I just fun. Perfect, good. So again, that small ball between the knees, squeezing it while you exhale. So over the years, I became a rotational coach through Titleist. And I really understood how the heels connect to the pelvis and connect to the shoulders. And of course, trapped in there now is our core. So we're gonna have Laurence do what looks like a hula hoop motion, nice and slow. She's really isolating pelvis. We don't want knees to move too much. We don't want shoulders to move too much. She's literally just grinding her sits bones into the floor. We'll do two more this way and reverse your circle. So hopefully you used a stability ball for your pregnancy. It provides much relief towards the end of pregnancy, but it's also a good device to teach baby tummy time. So if you invest in a ball, it will serve you for many years. How do those feel? Feels good, a lot in the core there. Yes, a lot in the core. It also helps with sort of spine. We kind of get a little stiff and tight. We're carrying baby a lot. We don't feel like we have any activation in the front of us, so our spine seizes up. And this is a nice way to kind of lubricate between the T and the L and just make you feel like you're Oh, now you got some swagger back there. <laughs> <laughs> Good. So those are just some exercises you can touch on. You can even start them before baby arrives just to help really make you feel like you've got your core engaged through labor and delivery. How did those feel? It feels really good. I feel a big difference. It's like those little muscles inside, like really deep. It's It works really well, guys. So yeah, if I was coaching a mom and she had her baby and I go to see her, I want to make sure that she's eating well, that bowels are working, that she's getting some rest, of course there's fatigue, and that maybe bleeding is coming under control. So this is one I would recommend. Let's try a few of these things. Let's see how they feel. If they feel like garbage, we're not ready yet. You really have to listen to your body at this time. Uh, but if they feel good, try eight to 10 on the first day. See how you feel. Nice exertion, nothing crazy. Maybe the next day you try it twice, eight to 10, one in the morning, once at night. See how that feels. If they agree with you, keep going. We had the progression of the first move. You've done the first move for a week, week and a half. Try the progression. See how that feels. See if you can find the doming. So you have to listen to your body, but if these feel good, make your shoulders feel strong, they give you energy, they make you feel like your body works for you again, then keep up with them. And if they don't, we need to talk to a doctor. So we really hope this helped you out. I know after giving birth, it can be a lot. There's so much information out there. There is so many different web pages. There's things that your doctors are telling you. And maybe you don't want to spend the money on going to a physiotherapist too. So these are some things you can do at home, which is always the best thing because baby's going to be there with you. So we really hope that these techniques can help you out with your postpartum for the six weeks afterwards. Yeah, and let us your thoughts about it and let us know if you had tried it and how you feel doing it. Mm -hmm. So this is Laurence, Mickey, and Jenna for Women Losing It. Have fun, guys. Bye.